miss me? Mikey Pipes, did you miss me? I missed you. And I love you. And thank you for all your continued support. I just got a call from Daniel. He's been on a service call for about a couple hours already. I want to say about two and a half hours. Uh, customer's complaint was water leaking from the system. It's a uh, gas-fired furnace upflow with an evaporator coil on top of it. And there was water on the floor. All right, let's go save him. He has no blower. She ain't blowing. We're gonna make her blow. Stay tuned. Hopefully this is good. But it'll be a great learning experience for Daniel. Let's go. Make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and let you get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. And if you want a free sticker, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Thank you. Let's go. You ready, Daniel? Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Let's go. What do you guys think? Control board, blower motor. Which one is bad? Or both? You never know. <laughs> this is a tricky one. Tricky. Goodman. The coil is frozen. And a lot of water on the floor still. Filter was dirty, right? Yes. Okay. And where is power is on? Good. What was wrong with the outdoor unit? It was really dirty, and the capacitor I tested it was bad. Okay. And how about the capacitor for the blow indoor blower? I was it tested it too. See the corrosion right there? Yeah. On the control board. Let's see if we can just temporarily get them up and running. This is a regular PSC motor, it's not an ECM motor. So if, as long as the motor is good, we can get them up and running while we get the, the board for them. Cause we'll take power to this, direct power. Okay. L1 in common and do that. Mm -hmm. So let's go inside here and see. Uh, hold that for a second. The, uh, the blower motor capacitor was t testing at 2.5 out of 15. Ooh, that's very weak. So let's so put this wire, oh, it's just, just dirt. Okay. Now, white is always neutral. All right. Which goes to that neutral bar. See that? There's a bunch of neutrals there. Yeah. Like the inducer motor has a neutral, they all have neutrals. Now, the black wire is fan high. Mm -hmm. All right. Which is going to go down here, and, which is this one right there. All right. So let's take this one out of there. Okay. You know, if we apply power to this, mm -hmm. right, it should come on. So okay. let's find line. Those are parks, park, park. The corrosion on the board upsets me, though. This is really the jumper you're using. Let's see. That red was the jumper that I had put in. Okay. Very good. Let's find the thing we need to... I need to give this something. This board is definitely shot. But I need to find power. Power, 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 power. How how are you sure that it's that the board's shot? Look at the corrosion on it. That <clears throat> that just means that it's time to get a new one. Uh-huh. Now say let's see what happens. It's off at the thermostat. Doesn't matter. But yeah, because the fan. You have a little, uh, <clears throat> let's see if this works. Is that going to blow it? It is, yeah. More than three amps. So we need a little spade connector thingy. Uh, let me go get one. 
All right, right. I took a jumper there. That's L1, and there's high speed fan. All right. I got a little hang on right now, okay? Eh? Eh? Alright. So, regardless of whether it's cooling or not now, is this, this is always, always going to run? The fan's constantly going to run because you have no way of yeah. of making it not do that unless oh, we right. change the board or unless we put in like a contact or a relay to turn on the fan when there's a call for, which we could do it, but the solution here is replacing the board. Okay. And it probably was damaged by water, yeah. right? Because that is corrosion there. And... That is not your typical standard board. However, we have a solution in the truck. One of the return vents was One of the return closed. vents were closed? Yeah. Okay. So this is a gas-fired furnace with an oversized evaporator coil on it. As you can see, not matched properly. Now, the drive of this may not match the drive of this 48, which is a four-ton drive, right? But irrelevant because it's been like this forever. Do not... Do not touch. That's hot. <laughs> they put pokey on here, which then discolored because of the... But also look at the corrosion on the exhaust piping. Right there. See, and it sizes up and then goes probably into an unlined chimney. As you can tell, look at that. Chimney's shot. But nonetheless, when you have a control... If this is a regular air, air handler, you know, it's a simple control. But this control controls all of the heating components and all the safety circuits associated with that. So now we have to duplicate that. So either we can order that board, which we'll look up for, or we put a universal in. Okay. All right, let's see if we have something that'll right, relax, it's a Goodman. She's a Goodman. She's a bad man, actually, because she's bad. We have this White Rogers universal furnace control. Let's get this thing done. One trip, get it done. Switches off. Oh, let's take a look at what we got going on here. All right, all that nasty stuff. Okay, very good, very good, very good. All those neutrals. Let's get it done. Where is that box? There is this box. See, and the White Rogers integrated furnace control. There's a model number. Save the day on this Goodman. She was a bad man. Now she's a Goodman. I had this one as backup, but this is not the one that we need. It was that one. Daniel, any thoughts and feedback? No, I don't know. The motor's no good. <laughs> yeah, you just apply power as needed. It's a lot less intimidating. It is a lot less intimidating, but if you look at all of that corrosion burnt on those resistors, not resistors, those chips and those diodes and thingy-majiggies, you know what? When in doubt, swap it out. All right, I just finished up that service call with Daniel. Well, actually, I finished up the service call. He, Daniel's still there, just tying up some loose ends. You know, it was a thermostat's a little crooked. I want him to uh, be a mensch, you know, make it straight and nice and level for the guy. He just gave us a fortune. Might as well um, make it look nice and pretty from what he's going to see and con what controls his system with. Um, but when in doubt, swap it out. You see that amount of corrosion on a control board? I was explaining to the homeowner right before I left, and I said, take a look at this control board. It's like a computer board, right? And with all that corrosion on that, those chips, those computer chips, you know, the, the, the system is very dumb when it comes to cooling. All it needs to do is turn on the blower to get air movement. That's all it needs to do. But I, I can almost guarantee you when the heating season came around, you went to turn that heat on, you're gonna, it's not gonna do anything. And I was like, but I had a universal board in the truck, put it in, up and running, and then I reminded him about, you know, doing preventative maintenance in, in the, for the heating season, you know, to make sure everything is good and copacetic with that as well. All right, that's where we're at right now. I was in the pool, now I'm gonna go back in the pool. I did some research and already started the ball moving with my South Carolina HVAC contractor license. Kind of similar to like New York City or some of the other counties in New York. Uh, you fill out an application, with some paperwork, and then you wait. And then you take some tests. So, looking forward to this, this venture and expanding the HVAC service that I offer now in New York, down stopping in South Carolina, on the way to Florida. All right, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you would have done anything differently with this service call. 
And of always, as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Start smashing that thumbs up button. St. Mike commands you to smash that thumbs up button. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so. All right, be well, stay safe, God bless.